Hello, this is Justin from the DataMail project. Uh, in this screencast, we're going to go over how to upgrade DataMail. I'll be upgrading uh, a version 8 of DataMail to the new version 9. Um, hopefully, you'll see that it's pretty simple to do and something you do yourself. Uh, so let's get to it. Um, I have currently a copy of DataMail 8.4 running pretty well on my website, and I'm going to uh, upgrade to version 9. Now, upgrades are a lot like installations, so if you haven't seen my installation screencast, um, that might be a good idea. Um, to move things along, um, I've done the first couple of steps of both a .mail installation and upgrade, and that's to first download the .mail uh, distribution, uh, download the, the helper script called uncompress underscore data dot CGI, and then upload both those files to my hosting account. And uh, now we'll start from there. So just to show you what I've got, here's my uh, here's my site um, in FTP. Um, I think in the install I actually used the file manager to do the installation, but we're going to use FTP this time. Um, the file manager is basically an FTP client um, through uh, my cPanel. So this view should look similar. It's actually a little bit simpler. Um, if you look, I have um, my my current data directory. This is where data mail lives. Um, I have the .mail support files directory. These uh, hold uh, files like JavaScript files, style sheets, um, things like that. And then I have um, the distribution of .mail and that helper script, uncompressed data.cgi. So, first thing I gotta do, and the first thing that makes this different than an installation, is I have to rename the current data directory to move it out of the way. Now, if I don't do this, I'll get an error when I run the helper script saying there's already a data directory and I'm not going to overwrite it, things like that. So let's do that. Um, since this is a version of 8 of DataMail, I'm going to rename the directory from data to data-840 because this is version 8.40. Just like that, and we're good. Now the data directory is out of the way, and if something happens during my upgrade, I can easily um, just rename this directory to data, and I have my DataMail back again, so it, it, it's kind of like a safety. Okay, so that's out of the way. Now I'm just gonna run that helper script, and uh, let's see what happens. Okay, so uh, my data mail is at datademo.com slash data slash mail.cgi, and my uncompressed uh, data.cgi helper script is gonna be at datademo.com uncompressed data. So I'm just gonna visit that in my web browser, and that's gonna run the helper script. There it goes. Everything looks good. And I'm going to click this button on the bottom that says continue installing and configurating. And that'll bring me into the installer again. Now, again, uh, one difference between the installation and upgrade of DataMail is hopefully um, the installer will know where your data file's location is. And it'll find it and tell you and ask you if you want to do an upgrade. And if this is the case, you want to say yes. Um, if you can't find the, the data files directory that starts with a dot, um, just type it in there, just uh, manually. But in this case, it found it just fine, and it knows I want an upgrade, and all I have to do is cl click the button that says continue. So let's do that. Okay, so here's the second screen in the installer, just like we're doing an installation, but now we're doing an upgrade. Um, and if you see, everything is filled out um, like it was when I first installed DataMail, which is great. There's nothing I actually have to do. Now I can look over everything, and if I want to make changes, I can. So for example, there's a really, really useful plugin called, let's see what it's called here, Global Configuration. Now what this plugin does is actually makes it really easy to, to jump back into the installer. So I'm going to, let's see, where to go? Check the plugin, Global Configuration, because I'd like that installed. And there's no uh, additional parameters I have to set. All I have to do is check that and it gets installed. Okay. If you want to look it over, make sure everything works. Um, there's an SQL tester for the back end. That works. I had the bounce handle installed before. Um, test that POP3 connection. That seems to work. Okay, we're fine. Okay, so I'm going to click Configure Data Mail. That'll do all the, the hard, heavy lifting for me. And installation log looks good. Um, since I'm uh, upgrading from version 8, uh, I don't have to change the cron job. Um, the version 8 and version 9 cron jobs for DataMail are exactly the same. Um, if you're running a version of DataMail or were running a version of DataMail before version 8, you're going to have to set a new cron job. We, we'll actually go over that, um, but for me, I don't have to change it. Okay, everything looks good. All I have to do is click the button to move the installer out of the way, 
and start working with Dynamo. There we go. I I just upgraded my Dynamo from version 8 to version 9. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to log into our Dynamo. Okay, great. And we're going to visit that global configuration. Let's see. Here it is. We're going to visit that global configuration plugin and see how it works. Okay. So all I have to do is click this button that says reconfigure Dynamo. And boom, I'm back at the installer. And say I want to install another plugin. Let's see. Yeah, looks like I have every single plugin except the password protect directories plugin. So I'll just check that. And click the configure data mail button again and boom, just reconfigured my data mail. Move the installer out of the way again and uh, start working with data mail again. So um, we just upgraded data mail and then we just reconfigured the global configuration of data mail. Just did it, it just took a minute. Okay, so now we've upgraded Dynamail. Say it was upgrading Dynamail from a version um, before version 8, so version 7 or 6 or 5 or 4, or God help you, 3 or 2. Um, I'm going to go to my cPanel. We're just going to double check on that cron job, make sure it's set correctly. So I'm logging into my control panel, my cPanel. And once I'm in, once I'm logged in, I'm going to, under find, I'm going to look for cron. I'm going to click it. And I'm going to scroll down to the end and look for the cron job that corresponds with Dynamail. Um, it's going to have some sort of reference to Dynamail, I'm sure. So here it is. And it looks pretty good. If I want to be sure, it doesn't uh, hurt anything to reset this cron job. So what I'm going to do is just click this uh, link that says delete. Um, confirm that. Boom. Now it's gone. I'm going to go back to my Dynamail. Go back to the admin administration part where the list control panel is. Once I'm inside, I'm going to go to control panel settings and go to scheduled jobs. Let me see. Let's make sure you can see that. So here's the control panel settings menu and go all the way down to scheduled jobs. Okay, once you're in there, you will find uh, the, the text box that's labeled using the curl command, and there's a co copy button, so just click the copy button. You'll go back to your cPanel, and go back up where it says add a new cron job. Uh, figure out how, how many times you wanna um, set this uh, cron job on a schedule. Every five minutes is good for a busy list. Every hour is good for a list you use every once in a while. Paste, uh, paste the cron job. Uh, in where it says command, and then uh, click the button that says add new cron job. You're all set. Okay. So to reiterate, we um, learned how to upgrade DataML. We then learned how to uh, uh, install that uh, global configuration plugin. We then use the global configuration plugin to easily get back into the installer and make even more changes to our uh, global config in DataML. And then we learned how to uh, reset the already existing cron job if you have to. Um, that's it. That's how easy it is to uh, upgrade uh, Datamail. Try it yourself once you're ready to upgrade and let me know how it works.